Number 5. Death webcaps. Cartinaria species. Another deadly mushroom with a deadly name. Webcaps are typically a rusty brown-orange color and are commonly found in northern Europe and parts of North America, particularly in subalpine forests. Their toxicity is a result of extremely potent arelinine and symptoms are initially flu-like and can take anywhere from two days to three weeks to surface but lead to kidney or liver failure and, often, death. The deadly webcap is undoubtedly one of the deadliest mushrooms ever found. They have a similar appearance to many edible mushroom species, however in fact contain arelinine, which is a deadly contaminant and has a relatively long latency duration. It generally takes two days to even three weeks after intake to cause any sort of symptoms. Often, arelinine is misdiagnosed, ultimately resulting in kidney failure and even death if not treated right away. Number 4. Autumn Skullcap. Gallerina marginata. Found all over the northern hemisphere, even in the Arctic and in some parts of Australia, the autumn skullcap grows itself on dead wood. They are gilled mushrooms and sometimes mistaken for hallucinogenic mushrooms, autumn skullcap mushrooms are poisonous and can be deadly if eaten. The fruit bodies of this fungus have brown to yellow-brown caps that fade in color when drying. Like the other toxic mushrooms, Gallerina marginata is also covered with amatoxins. Vomiting, diarrhea, liver damage, and hypothermia are some of the common signs among others. The impacted individual needs to right away be provided proper treatment. Number 3. False Moro. Gyromitras gulenta. With all the ridiculous names given to mushrooms and fungus, here is one that absolutely screams out for one, the human brain fungus. But no, for some reason they named it false moral, which it doesn't really look like. Obviously something as delicious looking as a human brain is not going to go uneaten. And it doesn't. The false moral is a popular delicacy in Scandinavia and Eastern Europe. But isn't this weirdly shaped mushroom deadly poisonous? Well yes, but no. If eaten raw there is a good chance you will die horribly. If not cooked properly there is also a chance you will die. However, cook it right and I'm sure it tastes great. The toxin here is gyromatrin which becomes monomethylhydrazine MMH, after you eat it. This toxin will primarily affect the liver, but also the nervous system and sometimes the kidneys. Symptoms such as diarrhea and vomiting will appear within hours and are followed by dizziness, lethargy and headache. In the worst case this will end in a coma and death within the week. The false moral can be found in conifer woodlands throughout Europe and North America. Number 2. Destroying Angel. Amanita bispergera. The destroying angels are actually several species of all white mushrooms in the genus Amanita. These incredibly toxic fungi are very similar in appearance to edible button mushrooms and the meadow mushrooms and have been collected by mistake on numerous occasions. One of these species, Amanita bispergera, is considered to be the most toxic North American mushroom. Symptoms take 5 to 24 hours to appear and include vomiting, delirium, convulsions, diarrhea, liver and kidney failure, and often led to death. Destroying angels look very similar to the meadow and the edible button mushrooms. Due to this, many individuals who have actually by mistake consumed them have dealt with fatal effects. Their all-white look is kind of deceiving, and for that reason, the highest level of preventative measures need to be taken here. Number 1. Death Cap. Amanita phalloids. Related to the destroying angels is the similarly appealing sounding death cap. It is this deadly poisonous mushroom that has been responsible the majority of human deaths both accidental and on purpose. The death cap has a long history and is associated with the deaths of a number of notable victims, including the Roman Emperor Claudius, a pope and a Russian star. The primary toxic agent is plus or minus amanitin, amatoxin. As mentioned this causes irreversible damage to the liver and kidneys. It is estimated that 30 grams, 1 ounce, or aprox. Half a mushroom is enough to kill an adult. It seems that many of the reported poisoning incidents involve whole families. In 2006 a Polish family of three ate death caps. One died and the two survivors required liver transplants. In such cases it seems that victims have a 50% chance of survival. Unlike some of the other fungus on this list, the toxicity of the death cap remains unchanged if they are cooked, dried or frozen. Within 6 to 12 hours after consumption, violent abdominal pain, vomiting, and bloody diarrhea appear, causing rapid loss of fluid from the tissues and intense thirst. Signs of severe involvement of the liver, kidneys, and central nervous system soon follow, including a decrease in urinary output and a lowering of blood sugar. This condition leads to coma and death in more than 50% of the incidents. Notable deaths include Pope Clement VII, who died of accidental death cap poisoning in 1534, and possibly Roman Emperor Claudius in 54 C.